Episode 43, December 1st, 2017. Leveraging the Logic Apps Management Solution for Log Analytics. So in this episode, we're gonna talk about the Logic Apps Management Solution you can find in OMS for Log Analytics um, regarding Logic Apps. And there's no community content in this episode. So Operation Management Suite. So you probably know this as, o, as OMS, a collection of services designed in the cloud um, from the beginning, it's kind of how Microsoft uh, posi positions it. And all the components of OMS are entirely hosted in Azure. And you can configure and run this within minutes. Uh, minutes. So it's not so hard to, to deploy this and have it set up. So you can, you know, with regards to if you know System Center from the early days on-prem, it's quite hard to set up and a pretty steep learning curve uh, because of all these components that were in the System Center. This is quite pretty easy because a lot of the complexity is abstracted away and you just through a few mouse clicks and select the price plan can have it set up and then you can take advantage of, of the latest um, features that are built in in OMS. And it has several integrated features or services and one of it is the solution for logic apps management, which is uh, still in preview. And you can access you know, your OMS portal quite from, from you know, all, all kinds of devices and stuff wherever you are in the world. So it's pretty easy accessible as well because it's cloud-based and you can use a browser. Um, the Logic App Management Solution, you can find it there. So there are several management solutions. So you see here, uh, update management, compliance, uh, there, there are several others, but there's one for Logic Apps as well. And this was launched in 2017 as a preview, still in preview, um, yet there are some new features to it. So we were kind of made familiar with this Logic App Management um, solution during Integrate um, in June. So John Fancy from the Portal Group kind of showed us some mockups and, and screenshots of what he depicted as, hey, this is something that can be really, really useful with regards to management of your Logic Apps. So what are these new features? What have they added to what was already out there? So they've created some, some view and search by track properties. So you can add track properties, as you know, to a Logic App, but you can visualize them now within, these, uh, within this Logic App solution or at least this Logic Apps management solution. There's some action and trigger failures by category, okay, so you can um, view those as well. And there's uh, the bulk resubmit capability. So if you know BizTalk from the other days, you had the ESB toolkit, and within that you had the exception management portal, where you're also able to resubmit messages. Now here you can kind of resubmit um, runs of logic apps, so you can restart them basically um, where they started from the action and then the action trigger, and then you can rerun those. So if you look at the, um, the solution, so they, with these added features, you, you kind of get a better view. Um, you're able to, to really down drill to the lower levels. You are able to now, but these, these extra features can really help in that aspect as well. There's some export capability functionality within um, the Logic App Management solution, um, and you can really do some deep analysis using analytics and stuff. So it really kind of starts to evolve and become more powerful uh, with regards to managing your Logic App. So I wanna do a demo based on um, a blog post created by the Microsoft product group by Sunit Kumar, someone who I met during Integrate US, who pointed me out saying, hey, we got this, uh, this great um, management capability in Azure, um, in, o um, in OMS. Also, I was familiar with it, and maybe some of you are as well, but they really enhanced it with um, new features, which you know, I don't mention, and I'd like to, to demonstrate to you right now. So basically this, the, the solution they created and I kind of recreated is based upon two logic apps. So there's one logic app that based on the reoccurrence sends out just kind of a random type of orders, which is sent to the second logic app, which is called process order. And here it's being registered, there's a confirmed payment and then it's being sent back basically to the 
um, calling Logic App. So what I kind of wanted to show you here is that this Logic App in the code behind file has some track properties. So these track properties is something that you have to kind of implement yourself in the code behind using track properties, customer name, price. Well, these are kind of the, uh, the tokenized fields within the message. But here you see that this track properties has to come after the run after part of the action. And the same accounts for the, the other action where I also have included these track properties. So let's go over to um, the overview where you can um, see what happens in the background. So here you see this, this preview solution. And here's another capability that I've added based on that blog post where you can have some kind of dashboard capability and feature. So just wait a second before this pops up. And here you see sales over time. So the accumulation of all the orders created by some people, order by city, order by platform. Now I can also view this from the OMS. Again, I click on this solution based on the log analytics. And, and here it is. You kind of have to render and here it goes. So once you build, rebuild this solution, uh, do mind that you may have to wait a little bit before um, the events start flowing in and you can start doing the monitoring. So when this was created in preview or kind of announced and, and released in preview, it was only available in some regions, but now it's um, available in, in other regions. So I used West Europe, for instance, and this is available right now. So you see these are two logic apps that are being monitored. And this is send order, which is basically sends out the order. Uh, every five seconds, it's sending out orders. So you can really see um, while it's running, you can really drill into it as well. Let me just drill into this one, which was finished, but also the ones are still running. And you can even drill down further if you want. It has to, sometimes it lags a little bit. Let me go back for a second and click it again. And here you go. So here you see the, the query. Here you see more of the properties of a action. Here's some other capabilities of log search. I can do an exports to Power BI and Excel. I can set an alert up an alert. I can even do further analytics, which I will show you in a minute. So let me just go back to runs and to the process order. Here you see some are running, some are succeeded, and the ones that succeeded is here's this one of the new capabilities. So you can really view the track properties of a logic app. So here you can view those. Let's hit one of B process still. And again, you can see we drill down into a running logic app. And the other capability they've added is this bulk resubmit. So I can really click a few and then I could say, okay, resubmit those. And the logic app will resubmit those. I even clicked a few running ones, but I just want to illustrate that you can really, if these were failed ones, for instance, you can really click those and resubmit them. Currently, I don't have any actions, triggers that have failures. Here you see an overview. So some of these capabilities were already there, but not the resubmit ones and not the ones with the viewed um, with track properties. So those are kind of new. The other things that are new it's kind of that you can create an overview. So the overview here is just a summarization of all the orders being sent out. And then I can add a few dashboard visualizations to it, like um, a two line list, donut list. And these are all based upon 
the queries you set right here. So you can, for instance, give it a, a title and you can set up the queries. So these are some, some extra capabilities you can have. Now you even drill down further into the analytics part. So see data volume, for instance, this is being run right here, go, and you can see the amount of orders or runs of logic apps being depicted right here, generated over time. And I can make a table out of it, I can chart it, I can even click on different type of visualizations if I want. I'm just experimenting a little bit here, but as you can see, there's tons of things you really can do um, from an analytics part of view with regards to logic apps. So these are just a, a few things I've, I've demonstrated right here, and there's even more capabilities on the left-hand side where you can even set up alerts. There's tons of things you can do with regards to the management and monitoring, or at least monitoring, I would say, of a, a logic app, in, in, for instance, in this case. Now there's also for Service Bus 360. So Service Bus 360 has some new capabilities around monitoring distributed apps. So let me just click that one and show you, or what's called an Azure Composite Application or Integration Solution, which entails like API management, logic apps, Service Bus, functions, um, messages going to the SQL Azure database. And this is kind of what the the roadmap or future of this tool of this of, free, of the service bus 360 kind of is so you're able now also this is still also in preview mode to monitor your logic app so to be able to do that you have to add a um, service principle to it including the tenant id the client id the client secret but also the um, subscription id of your logic app so in this case, it's the logic app, it's the process order. You can see here that the number, the run count increases. There's some detailed view of what happens. So this is kind of similar to what you've seen before, but a little bit uh, less detailed than, um, for instance, with OMS. But this is definitely useful if you have a distributed application um, where you can use the service bus 360 to monitor your queues your functions, but also your um, some of the endpoints, but also your logic apps. So this is in a nutshell, uh, OMS and also an alternative. So you see me demoing uh, some of the OMS capabilities, the enhanced ones for, um, for logic apps, which have been created by the product group. So if you want to try it yourself, I definitely recommend going to this blog post they, they created around this and you kind of re can rebuild the sample and try some of the stuff out yourself, which you just saw me doing during that demo. So I definitely think that the OMS capability, um, or at least the, the solution they created for logic apps in OMS is definitely a, a good step in the right direction, make it more versatile and the ability to really drill down into you know, what happens with the logic app behind the scenes um, with regards to tracked uh, properties, uh, but also the management capability of resubmit um, and bulk um, runs that might have, you know, failed and you want to rerun them because another system was not available. It's definitely a, a welcome addition to um, managing logic apps from that perspective. There's still some challenges, definitely, if you look at distributed integration solutions or composites, which I just, which I showed you with Service Bus 360. But um, yeah, that cool that tool definitely could be uh, helpful in that area. OMS could be too. There's still some kind of tabs and stuff where you have to look for what kind of type of information. As you saw me clicking in a few tabs, there are different ways that you can access the information. And um, I do feel still uh, feel that there's kind of a learning curve a little bit with regards to setting up the queries. So some of the queries I used were also depicted in a blog post. Um, and the other kind of challenging, what I would say still is that, you know, this is not in GA yet. Um, and similar accounts for Service Bus 360 that still also has this capability of monitoring logic app is still in preview. 
And there's another vendor out there that also has integration uh, type of monitor monitoring and management type of solution, or more monitoring type of solution out there, which is Ames Innovation, which probably focus more on um, predictive maintenance or pr kind of proactive monitoring with regards also, I think, in the future for, um, for Logic Apps. So definitely those are kind of the third party tools that are, um, that are out there. So if you have feedback regarding this episode of previous episodes, or you like to know what you what we, uh, or you want other type of topics being discussed by us, please let us know um, either through Twitter or just email us to middlewebfriday at gmail.com. But uh, yeah, the feedback definitely uh, keep that coming. And um, again, I'd like to thank Mr. 360 for being a great host, uh, also for bringing out the, uh, the service uh, 360 capability or a service out there with uh, some enhancements with regards to monitoring uh, composite applications. So definitely a good job there. Um, so, and also everyone who's um, watching the show for time uh, for quite a while, uh, thank you for doing so and thanks for the support. And um, I will leave you with the uh, music, music credits. <laughs>